Hi everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. I'm Jed Schneer, team leader for Team Not Like This. And this is Nimbus. I think it's one of those systems that if you know why you need it, then it's invaluable for you. But if you don't know what the point is, then it's kind of hard to see how cool it is. See, if you've ever worked with cloud computing and to be specific networking on a cloud platform, you may know how complicated and abstract it can get. For AWS, large scale, very uh, interconnected and very complex networks can get hosted. And there are so many features and options and different ways to get set up that you can often find yourself not where you want to be. Um, new clients especially, uh, it's very easy for them to find themselves at a loss at what they're doing. Um, having to go through documentations and posting to forums because they just have missed some, some key part that they needed to know and they, ha they haven't, just, they haven't um, understood it properly. So it's a pretty hard uh, a learning curve so for new users, but also for experienced experienced uh, uh, network administrators, it's very possible to set up something that works uh, and works well, but not the most efficient way for the co the, the company. A, a waste of resources, both time and money, and uh, instances in this case, and it's it's just something that needs to be addressed and I think we in Nimbus uh, are doing a good job of that. Um. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, we're going to show you uh, through a, a demonstration of the system. I'm going to walk you through the different functions and along the way I'm going to talk about how much thought and effort we put into user, uh, user, user experience, talk about our architecture, talk about how things are working and you'll see um, just just how much uh, thought and architectural uh, design has gone into this program. So straight up, let's just quickly log in. Uh, logging in is pretty simple. It uh, takes two keys that you set up on your account, an access, and a, uh, access key and a private key, and it's going to validate, it's going to, validate to make sure they are in fact um, a valid account. And um, it connects and when the account has been validated, and now we can be free to make connections. Um, what's important to note right now, this is a, a REST, uh, REST interface, a REST uh, architecture. So it's not actually storing the, the, the keys on that side. It's just it, all, it did, all it did there was validate. When we make our next, uh, when we start making our calls, we'll send the keys again and we'll validate and connect again. Um, let's just keep the stateless code. So we have a stateless service. Um, over here we have an information box that we can move around. It helps with the um, when you're interacting with the network, bringing the box where you want it to be. You'll be zooming in and zooming out, and it's collapsible. And that's this is information that um, of all the, the visual nodes and the parts of the, the network. Um, straight up, let's do the large. Let's do a large scan. Let's just scan the entire. Let's just scan everything we have. This is everything connected to the account, every network, every uh, sub network, every region. And I'll start talking to the different parts in a minute. So yeah, we go to so there. So now it's starting to scan a large network. Um, yeah, I hope you can see in the speed of this. And this is how much of, this is information. We, this is a large amount of information we're getting quite quickly. Uh, each each of these nodes, is, uh, the red nodes over here, represent uh, VPCs, which are your 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 private networks. And you have your instances. And you know, just have a click on one quickly. You can see. This is all the information you can get on your VPC. Uh, this is a connection block. It doesn't have any routing tables yet. There we go. Close this window. So, so on our network, we know we've discovered, uh, this is all we discovered. Now we've scanned it all. Now we just visualize it. Um, there are 2,657 subnets plus 33 instances, 51 VPCs, and 12 uh, region scanned. Um, we've scanned them all now, now it's just another the issue uh, as, as it's, as it's um, visualizing it. Um, so, yeah, that's 2,657 plus 33 plus 51 plus 12. 
Um, I'm just going to round this up to okay, 267 is 280, 290. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 290. Uh, 272 to to this uh, there's 253 anyway maths I maths there it was good maths um yeah so sorry there was I think I said 2753 uh different nodes on the network that we've scanned it's in, math, in 10 seconds and now we're visualizing it and it's visualizing about a node per second or two nodes just faster than a second um I'm gonna pause the scan and we can start going through certain parts uh, stop this here. Cool. So now we can see uh, this is my entire thing. This is the information of everything I've connected, all the services I'm running. Um, let's start looking at the different sub parts, the sub networks. But say, okay, let's 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 take a use actual user case example. So say I was a network administrator at a company, and my predecessor, let's call him Mark configured all the network that, that we posted on Amazon and then they fired him because they realized he was drinking on the job and it's my job to come in see what's going on and fix the network because it's causing a lot of problems so, so I could have done a full scan and go through many or I can just I can do there's more uh, essential scans we can do scan different parts and that's what I'm going to show you now so basically let me just give a talk quickly about the regions um, Amazon uh, web services allows you to have a number of uh, regions 12 that you can um, host your VPCs in your VPCs are your networks and so networks have sub networks and sub networks have instances instances are your servers and uh, so your web servers or your thing that's hosting something and if you're hosting if you if you're running like cloud computing you're hosting it on an instance so let's say I wanted. I have come to fix Mark's mistakes, and here let's go check out US, uh, EU, US, US East, North Virginia. Um, once again, stateless, so it's going to redo the thing. I think skipped. Um, connecting center sound. There we go. And here we go. Cool. So now this is my entire region of US, and it has one, two, three, four, five. Private networks, well, not private networks, uh, virtual private connections. Yeah, so private networks. Um, and right away, just by scanning, we can see a couple things. One, two, three, four VPCs are useless. Um, and that's not like so they don't have what they really are. They have no use right now. Um, for example, let me just so if we click on this thing, this shows it has no routing tables connected to it. Um, but also, it's going to its information. Um, there's nothing particularly interesting there, but you know, the point is, if you can see here, there are no, it has no subnetworks, which means it has no be no instances. You go to this one. This one also has no subnetworks. These ones do have subnetworks, but they have no instances. They're literally taking up space. They're not doing anything because it, it's, these are just network bots. There's nothing that you can't you can can't connect to them. You can connect to them. You won't receive to any services. There's no service hosted there. So immediately we can say, okay, I can go and delete this one and this one and this one and this one. And it will be that's four resources we just saved. Why don't we left with just this part of the network? Cool. And now there's more information we can start looking at. So if we click on this instance, over here we have the information of the instances. When every time I say instance, I just want you to think server. So this is all the information on the server. It's a Linux server. And um, image ID, email, right? and then if we go here, now it's one thing. It's availability zone. That's another important part of uh, Amazon Web Services. It's where it's hosted logically in their server farms, uh, and this shows you everything the instance is connected to. So this instance, here we go, glitcher. Uh, these are all the things it can talk to in this region. So this instance can talk to this instance, and this instance, and this instance. Um, by talk to, I mean it can send information to. And it can receive information from. And what that means is, every instance has assigned to a security group a number of security groups, which I think of them as firewalls, set of rules that say what traffic's allowed out of the instance or server and what traffic's allowed into it. So this instance has a security rule that's a security group that says, allow any communication from me 
um, to anyone and also receive any information from anyone. Uh, that's a bit of a security issue. You can now tell not into that. It's, there's, it's basically saying a file that says allow anything to happen, which is, as we can, that's a very big security problem. So uh, I would have to fix this immediately by changing some of these rules. Saying, no, 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 no. Let's uh, put some rules limiting what I can talk to. So right now, this is a big security flaw on our network. Um, these ones as well. Uh, this commit the connection to this one and this one. This, the, if you click on another one, okay, if you click on an instance when you're on this, um, I'll show you here the connection to each other. So these two can connect to each other because well, that's the first one says I can receive from anything to anyone, and this one can, 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 can connect to this one because as it, as it was, it can it can also it can talk to uh, anything through two two two, and it can receive anything from one four three or port eighty to eight eight eighty. And um, as we said, this one's setting from any can set from any port and any protocol. So this is a very there are very lax rules here. This is not a very secure network, and um, we've just discovered this immediately. We can close, we can start working on that and go and fire up our Amazon Web Service console. Start adding rules. We know the name of the instances we're looking at. We can look at anything in EUS uh, EUS one, anything in this VPC, and as a uh, Security groups are assigned at VPC to the instance level. If you, let's say if you knew about uh, AWS, um, you can now just go, go look for this VPC in your management console, pull up all your security group rules, and start adding them. And that's uh, a lot of uh, time where, that we would have spent looking for connect, for seeing if things can connect, and then while they can connect, um, hours saved, um, and it was, it was done quite uh, efficiently and I think quite enjoyably. This was a really, this is just one trivial use case. We're quite a, this is a small part, but for larger networks, this can be quite tra uh, quite challenging. And I'll actually give you an example now. Um, for over here, uh, for, for, I think for, once again, for users, once again, if, if, one of our big concerns is checking what, what's communicating to each other. We have a scan instances, which is, which is not concerned itself with which parts, uh, regions, and which VPCs things are part of. This is all it's concerned about every single instance what can they or talk to. So here we have the entire the entire account scanned. These are every single instance we have closed for this account. If I click on any one of them, it will show you it can talk to all of these. And you'll see a, la a very large root table. All oh, this is for the first, as I click on it. There we go. So this is all the these are all the security groups assigned with this instance. Why would I click on this instance? Well, okay, it can talk to it through all these rules, and you go through all of them. Quite a lot. This instance here can talk to all of these instances, and you just have to go through the rules, and you'll see why. And that's uh, once again a security issue. And I just logged out. That's not an issue. Um, uh, let me just, I'm just going to quickly log in again. And, uh, cool. Now I'm going to scan a different part. Um, so another non trivial example thing we want to do now is say, let me take a random one, okay. Um, for this example, I'm going to show you uh, some, one of the big issues, is, uh, when you, see, you want you look, uh, one of the big things we're doing is finding the information you, uh, up on my glass. Uh, so finding the information that you're uh, looking for. You don't want to go looking. You, you don't want to do a full s uh, scan again and like, start looking through interview. But if you can, if you want, let's say like you're looking for a very specific thing. For say, for example, you knew you got to announce some. You got a, a alert that something's happening with your subnet. Nine oh nine five nine five five nine five F two, and you want to uh, maybe get it. It's been. It's, it's grown too large. Maybe it's not routing. Maybe there's a security issue. So what you can do, go to your trusty scanner. Go here. You can type it in, or if you click on it, it'll go there immediately, and you can go. You can go scan it, and I will only scan information about that. And I think that's really useful. So if you know that something's a part of your network's not working, instead of like looking through it, you can just now and get a full representation. Um, we can see here. I'm actually scanning. This instance actually doesn't talk to anything. All right. So now we can see. Why? Wow.